Well, in the, in the event of an emergency, your first instinct is to call 911. But as one of our medical experts explains, that's not always the case. Dr. Bose explains the bystander effect. Imagine uh, you are at home enjoying your evening and all of a sudden uh, you hear a lady screaming and you open your shades, you look outside and you can't quite make out what's going on but someone's obviously in distress and screaming. What would you do? I'd call 911. See if she's a, see, you know, kind of assess a situation, obviously call 911, that's right. the end result. And you would wish, you know, people would do that, but that's not always the case. And normally, if you're walking down the street and you see somebody collapse, people call 911 and then, you know, an ambulance here responds. And we've shown in some of the prior segments some of the capabilities those mm -hmm. uh, paramedics have to save someone on the scene. But what happens is when you're in a crowd, a large crowd, the psychology completely changes. And imagine you're in New York City or you're in a rock concert or in a sports event and somebody goes down, everybody thinks, oh, somebody else will take care of them. And that's the bystander effect. People are just bystanders and they don't... All this emergency is going on. Right, right. And whereas if you're the only one there, you'll probably call 911. So this case I gave of the lady, you know, from screaming, that was a real case, 1964, Kitty Genovese, if you Google that. Um, it's kind of how the term bystander effect, you know, came about. That's a perfect example of that, where people opened their shades, they looked, but nobody called 911, and she ended up being murdered. And we have to recognize this human psychology, because if you're in a crowd, you're in somewhere that's crowded, you know, you might be the one who knows this bystander effect and you will take action and actually help someone. But you got to watch out for yourself too. Right. So what you shouldn't do is walk out in the middle of a highway and get yourself run over or go to save someone in a pool and drown yourself. What we have these days is this amazing technology called a cell phone. Yes. So you can call 911 and that may be the safest way and then one of these guys will come and they'll uh, The ones you. that are trained yeah. to assess the situation. And they will take care of things. And then if you're actually that patient who goes down in a crowded street rather than lying there you know, say you break your leg, you should point to somebody. Hey, you in the red jacket, call 911. And that way, you know, you're, you're pointing out something. You're it up to somebody, you know, to do it. You're Cause actually you're, saying you, exactly. you do it. Because human psychology shows that somebody will not probably step up and make that call to 911. So that way you actually point to someone specifically. So um, the take home message here is know about the bystander effect. Mm -hmm. Know that you're one cell phone call away from calling these guys and you may save a life in the process.